My name is Robbie Phillips. I'm a professional climber and I have eight points. I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to do van life responsibly. So let's get in the back of the van, put a brew on and have a chat. Tip number one is all about finding the place you're going to stay for the night and being responsible when you're there. Occasionally we do have to stay in places closer to small villages and in towns. When I went to the climb the north face of the Eiger, it's like a, the small town of Grindelwald, you know. I couldn't just park up in the middle of the street. So we found the local campsite and we camped there. It was a lovely experience. Tip number two is all about looking out for any signage that you might see. And when you see that sign, just don't do it. Tip number three is all about how long we're gonna stay in any one place. You know, best practice is honestly just to arrive as late as possible and to leave as early as possible. And of course, try not to spend multiple nights in the same place. And then tip number four is all about considering our waste. And I'm not just talking about our rubbish, but also our human waste. Because nobody wants to be out there enjoying their wild spaces and come across your dirty big poo. If that means using public toilet facilities when you can, then do it. Either have a toilet facility on board. If you can't, make sure to have some wag bags on board so you can dispose of your waste responsibly later on. But if you don't have any wag bags and there's no access to public toilet facilities, then make sure that you dig a hole and bury it as far away from where you're camping as possible and 50 meters away from any water source. Tip number five is all about barbecues and campfires. I know it can be a fantastic idea to be having a campfire under the stars in the wild. But in this day and age, it's actually very irresponsible. So I've got a double hob in my van and it does the job. Tip number six is all about trying to be as self-contained as possible. We don't wanna just show up here, have our awning open, have our tables and chairs up and essentially look like we're taking over the place. It's your responsibility to try and be as self-contained as possible in your van. Point number seven is very similar. There are gonna be a limited number of spaces out there to so try not take up too many with your big chunky van. And my final tip, tip number eight, is leaving no trace. Just like trad climbing. You get on your climb, you place your gear, your second takes your gear out, and nobody else will be the wiser that you were ever there before.